Hi guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'm taking you through a heavy volume leg day. So starting off, we have eight reps of back squat for five sets at 65%. So if you notice, I'm taking a breath between each of my squats and then making sure I keep my body posture upright. And I'm also low barring um, this squat, which is where the bar is more on my shoulder blades than on my traps. Also something I just want you to notice as you watch some of my videos is that each time I set up for a squat, I set up the same way. I get under the bar, I pin it, I stand up, and I take three steps back. Um, if you want, you can rewatch the beginning of the video. Okay, so this one here is the uh, pause squat. So I get to the bottom of my squat as far as I can and pause for two full seconds before I come up. And this is five reps for three sets. And the tr trick for these is just to help build you um, your stamina and your position at the bottom of the squat. Now this is a modified good morning. I can't do them standing up, but this allows me to still work the same muscles without having lower back pain and puts more emphasis on my glutes. This is what they typically look like. Um, I just can't do them without uh, a lot of pain later on. Um, but this is a little bit sped up, but if you notice I'm squeezing my glutes to stand up, I have a wide stance. Um, and I'm also leaning um, pretty far forward. It looks like I'm not moving very far, but it's uh, that small range of motion um, can be pretty effective. It's actually pretty difficult to get up off the stool once you're done with that. And you do those for 10 reps for three sets. Okay, this one is the uh, single leg leg press. There's two ways to do this, one sitting sideways and this way, the way I'm sitting here. And this is uh, 10 reps for three sets on each side. I'm just using the plate because this is directly using my quads and my hamstrings, whereas if you sit on the side and um, kind of like you sit on, so like if I'm sitting like I am now, I'd sit on my left side and push with my right right side. It'll be in one of my next YouTube videos, but it'll allow you to lose, use more of your glutes, which is uh, one of the biggest muscles in your body if it's not the biggest. Um, but I was focusing mainly on quads and hamstrings uh, today and really trying to focus on just building the strength I have there. And if you notice, I keep my foot toward the middle of the platform so that way I can push evenly. Next is a uh, Smith machine kind of hack squat. I couldn't get the hack squat machine to work for me that day. So this is eight reps for three sets. So you wanna walk out a little bit forward where you can uh, put most of the emphasis on your legs uh, so if you just walk a little bit forward and then sit down, so you almost want to sit like you're getting in a chair, even more far backwards than you would if you were doing a regular squat. Next, uh, this is uh, where I was at in this workout. Um, next is death balls, oh, excuse me, wall balls. And they're for 12 reps uh, for four sets. Um, I try to pick them up toward the bottom of my squat, if you can see here, and drive through my full body. And I try to go for the same height, which is that white box you see there um, for each of my uh, wall balls, which is a squat. And I try to pick it up without having to bend over, um, like the bend and stat snap and miss congeniality. And uh, I super, <laughs> yeah, that was a pathetic wall ball. Um, but those are tough, man. That's a heavy ball that I'm using. And then I supersetted this with um, the weighted plank, which will show up in just a moment. Um, for 25 pounds for 45 seconds times three sets. Um, I wish my butt was a little bit lower, but that's okay. Hey guys, it's much, much later. It's closer to like 11 o'clock now. Um, it took a little while to get through that workout that I showed you because this is my first day back since being in Las Vegas at the NSCA conference and a couple days there with my husband. And usually the first day back after a week, week and a half off is really tough for me because one, um, it, I've just not been doing anything like that because usually I take off like everything from the gym. The only thing I do is I remain active in my daily life. Plus we walked a ton while we were in Las Vegas. 
And two, usually when I come back after a break like that, my cycle, my training cycle changes. And so we go from having a low volume, high weight stage to a low weight, high volume stage, which just about kills me every time. But um, I know that it's gonna be okay and that uh, you just have to push through the first couple days just to kind of get the ball rolling. And that's kind of something I wanted to talk about to wrap up uh, this video was how important it is sometimes just to start and just get the ball rolling. A lot of time we are just so afraid of what's going on and what's gonna what's gonna happen, what could happen, um, that we don't even want to start, and um, it's, it just leads you down a path of what if and and regret and things of that sort. And what's the worst gonna happen if you do it? What you don't you don't succeed? Okay, you learned one way not to do it. How many ways did it take uh, uh, them to invent a light bulb? Benjamin Franklin, I think, is who it was. But he took it took many many experiments for him to figure it out. Just like in science, we have to search and try many different ways to figure out if something works, something doesn't work, just because there's so many uh, variables that are involved in something. And so people are the same way. Sometimes we have to try multiple things to figure out what works for us when for somebody else it worked like a dream. Um, so for example, I cannot do a whole bunch of cardio and uh, lift light weights to get what what I want for my body to do. I have to lift heavy. Um, I can do cardio and maintain muscle mass, but that's just not something I care to do. I do not like cardio. Um, so I have to find ways to do cardio, one, for my cardiovascular health, um, but two, to find ways to make it enjoyable because so there's sometimes we're gonna have to do things that we don't enjoy in order to take care of ourselves. Um, but the trick is just finding a way that works for you and that you can maintain in your life. And so first, finding out what you need to do is the first step. Two, um, and then just go for it and just start, you know, and just go for it. If you want to start being healthy, okay, what's the first thing can you do? Can you start walking more? Can you park at the back of the grocery store lot and walk from the back of the, the parking lot to the grocery store, get the shopping cart, go and get all your stuff, go put all your stuff back in the car, and then put the grocery cart back in the cart holder, or even better, you walk it all the way back to the store and put it where it goes, and then walk right to your car. That'll add so many steps there. Or you take the time to just make a bunch of meals at the beginning of the week, so that way you have all your stuff planned and you're not sitting there spending money or eating fast food. And don't get me wrong, I had McDonald's twice in the last week, which is unheard of for me. But I wanted it, two, I was on vacation, and three, I don't have it every day. So it's okay, it's, everything's fine in moderation. Um, but it's just finding a balance that works for you so that way you can maintain it over the long term. Sometimes that first grind or that first couple steps are rough because you're changing what your normal habits are to something new. And it's not meant to be easy. So take some time to to let, allow yourself to adjust. And you're gonna have days where you feel like you're gonna falter. And that's okay. We all are human. We all have days when we're not successful. and that, Or at least in our own eyes. And that's okay. The trick is to see what caused you to not be successful. Evaluate the situation and then try to do better the next time you're in that situation. You know, that's how we learn. That's why we have these life lessons throughout childhood. You know, you put your hand on the stove. Stove is hot. After that experience, you no longer ever do it again. Health and fitness is the same way. Some of the side effects are not as extreme, but it's the same concept. So give yourself some grace to figure out what works for you, but try and just start doing it because there's reasons why you want this or that you want these changes in your lives. And once you identify those, you'll be willing to go through the trial and tribulations that are involved. For me, I wanna live a long, healthy life. I wanna be active, because that's something that I enjoy. I wanna be able to take care of my friends and family, because I took care of myself, and I am in a positive mental state, and a positive physical state to be able to do that. If I don't take the time to take care of myself, how am I supposed to be able to take care of my friends and family if I'm too busy taking care of my own health? Okay, so find your why, and it'll help you push through those first couple steps and that fear to get it done. So I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.